guys so how you guys doing today welcome back to the channel my name is Diego now you guys don't already know I'm a videographer and a photographer located here out of South Florida so today I actually brought one of my homies Josh he goes this channel goes by the Yonser check them out super cool stuff he has more of that techie vibe on what's going on here in day every day using it what he thinks of products what's cool coming out what's not cool coming out so I wanted to do like a collaboration between the both of us and kind of give more of like what are his thoughts on the iPhone 11 and how I see the iPhone 11. Cause obviously we're gonna, you know, like certain things, maybe not like the same things. So we're just gonna go ahead and have a little casual conversation. So bro, first of all, thank you for uh, helping make this coffee today. No problem. I appreciate it. Did you see that people? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro. No, it's actually pretty fire. So sorry. Can't it's like a lumpy coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, bro, let's get into it. So what do you, what do you, um, iPhone 11? You? iPhone 11. So coolest thing off rip for me, the green. Oof, that green. Both greens, but I like more I like, the I, iPhone 11 green than the iPhone 11 Pro green. The winter green, I don't like as much. I like more like that, that mint green. Oh yeah. yes, yeah, hell yeah. I was actually like, I was looking at that, uh, whatever their ad, whatever, and then at the end, when like it zooms into his eye and then he's about to click it and I see the zoom, the sea foam, I was like, damn, I can rock that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's my favorite color, bro. I can rock that shit. I always said that I wanted to have a sea foam green guitar, so. Like when I saw it, I was always like, ooh. Oh, oh uh, making you switch sides yeah. right there. Boy. I mean, and, and, and another thing that I really do dig about iPhone, I've always said, because re as of recently, I've always been an iPhone guy, but I would say in the last maybe eight months, I've switched to Samsung or Pixel. Like I tried them both out and I'm really digging what Android's doing now. I mean, it's not perfect, because at first I would say like I travel a lot, right? So I'd say one of the issues that I have when I travel a lot is like using certain applications. So like Airbnb, or when you used to use like, for example, I fly a lot with JetBlue, um, I would just have my boarding pass on the phone, right? Yeah. But on the app, it wouldn't work right on Android. So iPhone always came through clutch with that, but with then the you wallet know, and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think, and, and then like, if you go to like an event, you know, for example, like if you want to go to like an event in a different city or whatever it is, I would just buy it like on, you know, Eventbrite or a Resident device, whatever kind of event it was. And then boom, you have it on your phone. A lot of the times it doesn't work that same way because Samsung didn't have a wallet at that time. Google didn't have a wallet. So I thought it was like, they finally got to that level. You know what I'm saying? I can agree with that. So, so I think the apps are finally starting to get to where Apple was at. So one of those, that's one of, I think one of the things that always kept me with them is how their apps actually ran. Um, what do you think about it? Did that ever like cause any like issue with you or no? Or I mean, no? I'm, I mean, if you guys see my channel, I'm a habitual switcher. Like I can't, I, I, I have no team. Uh, I like switch sides whenever I get bored. Um, but something that I've liked a lot about Apple is just the smoothness of, of communicating with every device that we have, right? So it's like, okay. if you have a MacBook and then you got your Apple Watch and then you got, you know what I'm saying? Like everything just seems so, so fluid. And now everybody else is doing it too. And they got it and they came a long way, but for some reason I still feel like Apple still, that just, just a little bit, you know, up there. Now I'm gonna counter that. Cause I've been using Samsung. All right, right? All right Or all I've been right. using the Pixel. So now, like, I'm, the, I'm I used to love that about Apple, right? But what happened? I left MacBook Pro and I went Dell. I got an XPS 15, and that's how I edit all my videos. And to be honest, yes, it crashes once in a while. I'm not gonna tell you it's the perfect thing, but it works. And for the price and to have my ports on there, oh, wait, go wait, without a doubt, you know yeah, you're getting like, a lot more value for the money. Yeah, hundred percent. And I feel like because the thing is, I was looking at specs, and I was like, okay, it's time for a new computer, and I felt like I was uh, maybe I'll try MacBook Pro again, right? I'll go back to the Apple ecosystem because I had the phone, the AirPods, the watch, and everything else, right? So what happened? I took that a computer and, and fully spec the way I wanted it was almost four grand, yep. and I got the Dell XPS with the video card and everything with the insurance, with water damage, and everything, fifteen hundred. So I was like, let me just try it out. So I tried it out and I've been using Samsung to get back on track. I'm sorry about that. But to get back on track. So what happens? 
Now I use a lot of WhatsApp, right? So WhatsApp web, boom, I go to the browser, I download it on my desktop and I have it there so I get my messages. And now Android web. So now I have my text messages and I have WhatsApp right off my computer. So I've illuminated that. Now, one thing that I do miss, that airdrop. Oof, that airdrop is, <laughs> airdrop is pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty nice. It's convenient when you need it, especially like on the go. Like I'm pretty sure you, there's probably 90,000 times where you can take your SD card out, put it into your iPhone, airdrop it to your computer and just be like, damn, I'm set. Yeah, but I got double. I thought 11 Pro, they're gonna, you know, maybe add a slot for an SD card. See, maybe all right, so this is, this, is, this is where I start getting salty, man. And um, iPhone 11 Pro, you're putting Pro in the name and you're starting with 64 gigs of storage. I thought about that. I thought about that. I was like, okay, $1,000. Let's, I mean, cause I, like, for example, what's that other phone? Uh, the OnePlus. Yes. Seven Pro. What's the price of that phone? It's like 700. Okay, so it's 700, it's Android, but it comes with 256 gigs for 700 bucks. But you have the iPhone, which is 64. I, I still don't understand that. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, they're, they're hoarding storage as if, you know what I'm saying? Like, as if it doesn't cost that much, you know what I'm saying, to put it. I mean, I don't know the R&D of everything like that, but if Samsung is throwing out a phone, Samsung Note 10 just released at 1099 with 250 gig with 256 storage with expandable storage, and we're looking at the same iPhone at 1099 with 64 gigs, and you're calling yourself pro, I don't think you're really, you're really looking yeah. out for the consumer. You're gonna obviously want us to pay a little bit more to get that 256 to 512, whatever it is. Um, and if you notice on that keynote, everything was, oh, iPhone 11. It's the tool for the creator. Like, <laughs> bro, like, bro, like, give me more storage and we talk about the perfect tool for a creator. You I get mean, what yeah, I mean? Storage like, is huge for us. It's like, I'm not gonna lie, like I just bought a 500 gig, one of those uh, Samsung T5s and I'm like 75% full and I bought like maybe two months ago. If you're just an average user, maybe you're looking at us like, oh wow, first world problems. Yeah. No, bro, like if you're a content creator, bro, you are going through SD cards like a no other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're switching them out, you're putting it. To have the convenience of having that much storage on a phone is no longer a luxury. I think it should be a necessity. It is a necessity. Cause like, okay, for example, like I was just in Cuba, right? And I had my Samsung with me and I was snapping pictures. But the cool thing is that Sony has this app. I'm a Sony user. If you guys don't know, I'm sure you guys already know. I'm a Sony user. So it has the play memories where I can like send a picture directly from my camera to my phone. Nice. And I can send like a bunch of photos, right? And, and the high resolution photos, it starts taking space. So with this one, I had a memory card and I was able to send them here and then edit them on the fly because I have Lightroom on my phone and able to edit them and be able to put them up or you know, do whatever I want. I just mess around. If I'm at a coffee shop, hashtag I just want to go ahead. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> crucial. But I feel like if I had a 64 gig iPhone, that I wouldn't be able to do that in a relaxed state of mind. I'd be like, damn, dude, like not to delete apps or anything like that. I feel like that's where Apple really struggles is like their memory. Like there, they really drop the ball in my opinion. The memory, like starting at 64, like 64 is something that could have been cool two years ago. But now in the era that we're living, and I feel like there's tons of creators to YouTube, Instagram, people are creating every day. They're, they're doing music, videos, photos, design, whatever it is, they need that capacity on their phone wherever they go. Because exactly. some people even do their editing and they do all these kind of things on their phone oh, right away. Nice. Yeah. You know, so I feel like that that's huge. Especially if Instagram is like your main platform of showing yeah. off your work, like, Obviously, you're gonna want to up uh, like edit it on the iPhone because most people have that shit. You know what I'm saying? Not, so yeah, like, that. But you know what's huge too, bro? Is that like you, you just just to touch what you said on Instagram? Like people aren't just focused on posting photos, but they're now posting IG stories and yeah, IGTV, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that takes a, like a lot more memory than a photo would. Exactly. You know, so I feel like that that right there was huge for me. I was like, damn. So now a phone, you know, it's not just a thousand, but it's gonna be 1149 if I want that pro. Which I, I would never. Yeah. I would I mean, probably get the regular right one. Exactly. I mean, and also redundancy, right? Like with with everything to save your data. So you have it on your SD card, but just for that peace of mind for you, especially if that's your life, you know, that's your work, to be able to move it to your phone. Yeah, for sure. For backup, I mean, yeah. So frustrations. Hashtag frustration. So pretty much the phone design hasn't changed in what, two, three years since uh to, since the 10. Since the 10. Right? Yeah, it's two really years. Two okay, years. I say two years because the XR came out last year, right? Exactly. Exactly. The phone's too fat.
the display in the front, it has fat bezels. No, 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 like oh. the phone itself is fat. So like, I put it in my pocket and it feels big. And it feels like it's fat. Yeah. You know, it's like it's fatter than my wallet. See, but I, I don't mind that if you're gonna give me battery. You feel me? Like if you're gonna give me okay. battery, right. I can take that fatness, bro. Like, yeah, make it a little big, you know what I'm saying? But you're telling me that I can last all day and not be on a charge? I take that. I'd rather have a fat phone with battery all day than a skinny phone that I gotta plug up. And who has a charger? You know who has it? You know. What about a skinny phone with badass battery? That I mean, damn. You, you guys need to do something about that tech. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. We're not just bashing iPhone. Like I love iPhone. Like I love Apple. Apple does amazing work, and they will actually revolutionize a lot of the things that we that I come to use now. I think honestly, I'm gonna get it to him right away. They. Like beside, they're up there with Pixel when it comes to the camera. Their camera game is on point. Yep. Um, I for the last year have been using exclusively the iPhone XS Max as my main uh, camera. I went to Europe and I shot. I didn't like. One of the biggest things is if you don't have the proper gear to take your cameras and everything like that, it can get very annoying. To I mean, you can probably agree with me. Yeah. How long did it take you to get your first camera bag? Like to put everything organized and feel nice and feel confident, or did you get it right away? Like my first camera bag, or you mean like the one that I actually love? Well, I guess yeah, the one that you actually love that you are like now that you have this camera bag, you it's not a chore to take your camera and shit. Okay, all right, all right. All right so I had like ten camera bags because it was a trial and error. There was a bag I liked; it didn't have enough compartments. One looked cool, one didn't. One was comfortable, one wasn't. One absorbs sweat, one doesn't. Like, there's all these little things. Or one, like, I couldn't get to my camera fast enough. So it's like, if somebody's passing by, I'll do like some street photography. Let's say there's like, if you scroll on my Instagram, there's this picture I took of an old man in the street of Wynwood, Miami, of him smoking a cigarette in the middle of the street barefoot. I thought it was a super dope shot. I asked him if I could take the shot. He's like, go ahead, but I need to go. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, literally like, pulling it out of my bag, and getting everything ready, like it was uncomfortable. Like, the bag that I have now, which I use in pink case, um, it's literally just one zip boom and I can pull it out. But like, I, I, got, I got what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I've said it took me about maybe two, three years to find the actual bag where like, it works for everything and it carries all my stuff and I'm comfortable carrying it. So for me, uh, my first Europe trip was two years ago and I took my ten, uh, my Canon T5i and bro, I, I barely used it on the trip because it was just annoying to walk around the city and then I had not a camera bag. I had a random, like, you know, like a Jansport or, you know, something and it didn't feel comfortable. So I used the iPhone as my primary shooter. And I'm not gonna lie, I liked a lot of my shots based bro, off, you know what I'm saying? I would, I, honestly, bro, like I'd say the iPhone camera is top notch. Like even up till now that I finally tried the Pixel 3 XL, iPhone is the only phone that I would have in my pocket and be like, yo, I can I can trust this camera. That's why I feel like, like if I go if I go out or if I'm gonna go do something, I can be like, all right, I can defend myself with this phone and I can trust it to where like the bro for me, color grade is huge. And I felt like Apple science for color grading on their photos and videos is amazing. Like it's very seen, flat so that you can, you know, move it. It is, yeah. but at the same time, bro, like their dynamic range is beautiful. Oh, you know what I'm saying? For like a, a camera phone, like that's where I see myself dropping the thousand dollars or eleven hundred dollars. But now that same lens is in the camera that's six ninety nine, right? Yes. Six ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Six ninety nine. Yeah. So I mean, do I take a fat phone with a huge battery and a camera? Yes. Yeah. I'm Will sure. I? Probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same fence, especially because of price point. But tell me now, as now that, you know, you were primarily photographer all the time now, now you're getting into your video work and you're making money on doing all that. Yeah. Don't, do you see a convenience of having the, the fact that you can switch three lenses? Like that's something that the Samsung can do, right? Like on that pro model, you can go from wide, ultra wide to tele without you know, like for us right now, we would have to snap off a lens, get that next angle when you can just. So, like, okay, so. I don't know if you understood me guys. Sometimes. No, no, no. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I've been the person that I can say that honestly, because of the technology that's in smartphones currently, I feel like photography and the cameras itself are not as big as they used to be. Like not as big, I mean, in size, but big as I mean in like, the community of it. Like people don't really carry cameras and where to take photos because you can achieve the same thing with the phone. 
But me personally, I've never felt comfortable saying, I'm not gonna take my camera right through my phone. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, that's but I know people and I've seen their work where I'm just like, dude, no way. Like I remember there was this thing called Through the Lens on uh, YouTube, it was from Adorama, and they're like, they interviewed certain photographers, right? And there was this photographer from Japan, I forgot her name. This girl did amazing work, but like, everything was done on her iPhone. She had an iPhone 5. Woo. Photos, editing, everything was done on her iPhone. Nothing was done on her computer. And I was like, wow, dude, that's amazing. But for some reason, every time I've seen a photo, I'm like, okay, that photo looks cool. I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm out to dinner. And it can look dope, right? For candid shots and, you know. But like if I'm doing professional work, I can't do it. I don't, I, I just- You don't trust it. I don't trust it. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, the reason why we get some of these type of cameras is because you want the camera to do what you want it to do, not what yeah. it wants to do. Because right. it's just gonna go on auto and just fire. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, for some of you guys, that might be good enough. But um, for me, I actually like the benefit of that new three lens that option. That's amazing. For like, did you see that video that they, that they did with the cars? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and, and just going in and out and giving those different perspectives. I'm like, man, that's kind of handy in, in tight situations if you need no, to get yeah, something done. Sure. Um, and I like that it doesn't look almost like a fisheye where when it goes wide, it kind of like, you know, that chromatic aberration everything at the sides. It, it, it really looks crisp. And I think that's that, that really caught my attention. Now, something about the camera that I definitely did not like, and I, I don't know, when I, when I saw it, I was like, this doesn't look right. The night mode on it. Yeah. They showed it, but I feel like they kind of showed it quick. Cause like when I saw it, I was like, it looks, it's, it's a noisy photo. Yeah. Like, I can see the pixelation. They're like, oh, look what you can achieve. And it was a guy in a car. Hashtag film look. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get as much green as possible. <laughs> yeah, it looks very green. Like yeah. the guy in the car, you see like the yellow light, which I get it, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's not an LED light, it gets the yellow light from inside his car, but it looked very green to me. And I'm the like, one that was ugly was the one of the person on the couch. It was like pure black and the person's on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw and, then you, and then you turn it on yeah. and then like you see the whole person, but bro, that shot was ugly, dude. Like, yeah. ugly. I, but you know what? I get, they're going in the right direction. And again, this is not just a bash iPhone. Like I, I, like I said, I've used it for years and I respect it. Everybody in the industry does prefer Apple over Android. Um, well, a huge majority and a big percentage of them do. But it, it just, it, this is just kind of like how I feel as creative and like what I like to do with my phone and what I use it for. And then I wanted to get somebody else's perspective because like I said, me and Josh, we're friends, but at the same time, like. He uses his phone differently than I do. Everybody uses their phone differently. There's no two people alike on how they use their product. Yeah. You know? So that's why I was like, instead of them just thinking I'm bashing on this video on YouTube, oh, look at this guy just bashing Apple. Like everybody else. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've used iPhone and I respect it. I think it has great things and sometimes I do miss it. But I wanted to get somebody else's perspective just to like see if it, if, it, if maybe they agree with me or maybe they don't agree with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he said he would use the camera and I've seen some of his photos. His photos look amazing. I don't trust it that way, but do I respect the camera? I like it more than other. Smartphones? Yes, very much so. True. Um, now, wait, wait, wait. Uh, quick, quick question now. Would you, now because the XR is 600 bucks, would you recommend that? Which had pretty, pretty good camera quality, good battery life, it was fat, but at $600 and maybe get the rest for getting maybe like, for somebody who's starting off, they're wanting to make a YouTube channel with their phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, would you recommend them pay the extra 100 to get that wide angle? Or do you think that they should just save the money and just get the XR and pay $100? Now, this, this is how I would put it. The XR is cool, right? But the XR is already a year old. Yeah. For $100 more, you get the 11. Yeah. Right? This is how I would put it. Just to like yeah. shoot it off a little bit. People that want to dish out the money to get the 11 Pro, get the 11, right? And buy yourself one of those DJI stabilizers for your phone. Yeah. And you're still under the $1,000 you would've spent. You right. So you pretty much have yourself a new iPhone 11, right? You buy yourself a stabilizer, which costs like 130 bucks. You put the iPhone on there so you can get that Boom. perfect Yeah, and, it does, and I, ha I have one, I really like using it because it does hyperlapse and time lapses. And, oh, and it's yeah. a nice stabilizer. I mean, my friend, um, he works in HBO, we did a little uh, video for one of his projects that he had to do. Um, and it worked out great. And that's what we used. We just used the phone and that little stabilizer. Damn, so so that's, hey, what I that's, co that's coming from somebody who that, does this for a living, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that that's how I would say it. Like XR, yeah, it's old technology, but for a hundred bucks, you might just get the new one because you're going to get that second lens. So you're going to have 
have more, like you're gonna be more versatile on anything yeah. that you want to do. Yeah. And their wide angle looks amazing. That foot that they took of that girl outside the cave and then they kind of like blew it back with the wide lens. Like it looks amazing. So that's what I would say. If you had the money for 11 Pro, just get the 11 and get yourself the stabilizer. Yeah, because unless you're at a stadium uh, every weekend and you're seeing the Miami Heat lose or the Dolphins lose, um, you're not gonna be zooming in, you know what I'm saying, for every freaking shot, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the wide and the ultra wide are, are, I think, the most creative type of lenses you can have. Yeah. On it. Like, yeah. you strictly are now like, 95% of your work is on the 16 to 35, right? Yeah. So, and that, the, I mean, if you just seen this video right now, just the dynamicness, the, the creativity that it brings, it brings like a fun, you know, like just us in this, this you know. I think it, it, it definitely just, does because it's like, it, it definitely adds like, it, it, what I feel like it, for me, it's like when I use wider angles, you, you play more with your composition. Right? Yeah. yeah so it, like, it's a creative eye. It's also like when you grab, like I grab an 85, right? And let's say you grab an 85, right? And you, 85, obviously it's super tight, right? But then you grab that 85, you can do a portrait shot, but you want to get creative. And let's say, I don't know, you grab uh, this candle and you rip off this little film right here, right? And I rip off this film and I put it in front of the lens. Now it creates a different style. Yeah, so I, get, I, I think it's, it's just about like how you use it. Um, and what you can do with it, you know what I'm saying? Just expanding your, your horizons when it comes to creativity with the lenses. Yeah, definitely. You know, but now I have a question for you. Yeah. Go on. What do you think about the Apple services? Apple Arcade. That that that's sick. To me, that is sick. Me, it, I'm a jealous. At, for $4.99 and to have exclusive And it's family, right? It's so family. Four people. Yeah, four people. To be exclusively on that platform, they're trying everybody. They're like, you don't have an iPhone where you can play our games, kid? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the new, I, I don't wanna call it like the Xbox or, you know what I'm saying? But for a lot of these- It's like little arcade games. Like yeah, there's yeah. 101, you know what I'm saying? Like the old school games. But you know what I think is cool? Okay, so this is how I saw it. I'm not a father, right? Okay, I'm, I'm not a dad. I don't have no kids, nothing like that. Not even an uncle yet. But let's say, I say they attack the market in the right form. And I think it's brilliant because let's say, okay, so let's say I'm a dad. I travel, right? Let's say tomorrow I'm in LA. Yeah. My son's back home and he has a tablet and he wants to pay me, play me in chess or one of those video games. Yeah. That's another way for me to have an interaction with my kid. Straight up. I thought that was amazing. Yeah, no, it's, you know, yeah. it's another way for you to like really bond with your family because now it's not just like, oh no, FaceTime or talk to me. It's like, let's have a little game. You know what I'm saying? Let's switch it up. I saw an interesting video about this actually. If you guys noticed, last year they sold the XR at 750. The iPhone 11 is $50 less at 699. Right? Yeah, which is genius. Which is I genius. thought that was amazing. How they're able to do this is through those services. If you think about it. So they're charging you more services, Apple TV, uh, uh, Apple Music, Arcade, and they're making, they're able to drop the prices oh, off there sense. To, and, 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 and make more money on their on their software services. You know what I'm saying? And dude, and that's residual. That's like, yeah, you know they're, they're making month to month. So. I applaud them for doing that because now you're gonna get somebody who maybe have been a little bit more budget conscious. Man, 750 is too steep, but 699. You know what I'm saying? I can I can throw down for that. You know. And and the thing is, for most carriers, that's like zero down. That means you're walking out with a phone, which is paying tax. So let's say here in South Florida, taxes are seven percent, right? So you're walking out with a phone for like 50 bucks, 70 bucks, right? That's it. And then you have the new iPhone. I think what they did there was brilliant. I feel like they finally listened to like the consumers about having like a phone that really packs things in it. Yep. Still fat, like the actual phone, yeah, still it's fat, fat, it's fat, but it still has everything you need. And then the adding that second lens, I thought that was really cool, man. And like the colors, I'm really digging the new colors. Yeah. I, I'm really feeling like the, those new colors. The only thing I can say that I don't like about the 11 is that display is still kind of weak. I mean, compared to what Samsung is offering and everything like that. My thing is this. So the thing is, that's 720. That's weak. Cause that's like I weak, said, man. A OnePlus, the 7 Pro, they have 90 Hertz refresh rate. Yeah. And their their screen is amazing. Like our homie George has one and I'm yeah. like, dude, this thing looks it's great. Stupid fire. And like, again, this goes back to the content creator aspect of it. If you're gonna be taking photos off your phone, then editing them off your phone, you My whole thing looks awesome. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it, you, I mean, that kind of deters me a little bit because you're not getting the optimal screen to be able to, you know, get those colors correct. Or maybe the color accuracy is pretty good, but they're 
the sharpness is but i mean i don't know that it's not up to par with their pro line i mean yeah no it's not it, it really isn't and like i feel like sometimes when it comes to those kind of things bro like you gotta it, sacrifice you gotta sacrifice but i honestly think their biggest hiccup is definitely their memory yeah you know i feel like that's 60 but you know what i'm willing to forgive the 11 that more than i am the 11 pro because last year again 750 for 64 gigs was the 10r now you're getting 750 128 gigs yeah so i can kind of forgive them there you know what i'm saying that after and bringing it down making the 128 gig at least a standard you know i mean like you know if you're copying the 64 gigs good luck you better have like an external storage but 128 750 that would be my recommendation yeah you know, yeah. One more thing I would say though, a lot of people don't know this. You'd be surprised at how many people I've talked to about this. Just a quick tip and not many people know about it. If you do have an iPhone and you go for the 64, right? And you're like, oh no, but I just have so many photos. Do you have a Gmail account? Yes, download Google Photos. It gives you like 15 gigs of free storage for you to put your photos and you can put them on the app and delete them from your phone. You can actually go into Google Photos app, click on the options that says free up space, you click it, it deletes from your phone, but keeps on the app. And you can go into your computer, TV, anywhere, pop it open, and look at them, and then sort them out afterwards. But oh, yeah, I think you should talk about Google on an iPhone video. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's freaking. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, come on, man. Like, I hate when people tell me, like, but I have an iPhone. Well, not even that, dude. The thing is, like, I have an iPhone. We, we oh, have so. to use, you have to use your resources to your advantage, bro, because if you really have an Apple and stuff and you can't afford that, because like, there's some people that can't afford it. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm straight up. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, if I go into, like, a store to buy a phone, I'm not gonna drop three, four hundred dollars for a phone. No, no, down, down, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be monthly. Man, like, I'll so be the many guy. other things that you can purchase with that to make. I mean, I mean, to each his own, right? No, no, for know, sure, yeah, for own, sure. Yeah. But like, I'll be the first one to be like, bro, I'm gonna hold on to my phone for a minute, or if I'm gonna get the phone, I'm gonna get the one that I could afford to not pay that down payment. Because think about it, if I'm gonna dish out three, four hundred dollars, I'd rather invest that into like something like, like maybe towards a new lens or new microphone. But that's just me. People have different hobbies. Maybe you're into kicks or whatever it is. Maybe you're into fashion. You want to get a new robe going on. You know what and I'm now saying? you like, get the new iPhone and a new pair of kicks. <laughs> but you know, I, I think though, it, I switch a lot from Android to iPhone, like I said. So this is, uh, you may you may quote me on this because you're now using, um, you know, Samsung and stuff like that. A lot of the Google apps work phenomenal on the iPhone. In some ways better, in my opinion. Gmail, I promise you, I'll be in my house, right? I'll have the LG G8 and I have the iPhone. And I get the email always first on, on the Gmail. And I use Gmail on my iPhone. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're using Google Photos, man, freak iCloud. Just, you know, just save your money. 99 cents, you know, like. So, pretty much to wrap this up. Because now we're going to go rambling on for us. Yeah. You know? <laughs> want to get the iPhone? Get the iPhone. If you don't want to get the iPhone, there's tons of other options out there. Just yep. be smart on what you do and how you do it. Don't be that person like, damn, I just dropped 100 on this and then like, that's it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just to wrap it on that. If you want a more in-depth on like this conversation, definitely check out his YouTube. Um, it's going to be under the answer. So the answer, check him out. Like I said, it's I don't know. Man, I think we went pretty in depth. I don't know. This I don't is know. Hard, Yours is going to be more like, uh, all right. If you want to hear stop. a roast, if you want to hear a roast, I, I have a little bit more of a, uh, like a comedic aspect to it, you know, and I feel like this was very informative. So if you guys, I mean, definitely take his advice. If you want the iPhone, get the iPhone. I think it's a solid option. Yeah, no, and that's not, it's not what I like or what anybody, it's what you like. If you like Samsung, you like go to Samsung. If you like Pixel, go Pixel. If you like OnePlus, whatever, Android or iPhone, whatever you like, just go for it. We're just giving out our two cents of what we thought. And just to get like two different perspectives again on like how we saw the new product that's coming out for this year. That's pretty much it. This year on my channel, I'm talking about the three biggest flagships that are coming out this year. And I'm trying to see who is gonna fight for my pocket. You get what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna fight and get into the pocket? So I already did one on the Note 10. We're doing this one on the iPhone 11, Google Pixel. I'm pretty sure we have to talk about the Google Pixel. Oh my God, I can't wait for that. But that's gonna be another video. That's what I'm talking about. You know but, what I'm yeah. <laughs> thank you again so much for coming, brother. Thank this you, man. It's been so much fun. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment down below on like what you think. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you think we should do more videos like this, all that cool stuff, because this is my boy right here. And hashtag I, I crucial. Last doing this, yeah, yeah. coffee. Hashtag crucial. That's from video Happy one. Roll, though. Yeah. Happy roll. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Yee! That was good. <laughs>